Good morning, YouTubers. I build that. Uh, <clears throat> first of all, a little bit of apology for yesterday's video. Um, glasses are mucky. I, I wasn't filming, and the person I got to film, I didn't really train enough on how to use it. So, yeah, it is what it is. But, <clears throat> grown a cough, he's got grown a cough. I, I found out something really interesting but very funny yesterday and I'm going to tell you. Ladies will know this, know, will, will know about this. There is a moisturiser called snail gel, alright? And apparently, apparently it contains snail spit. So somebody somewhere, okay, is grabbing these snails and going, come on, spit. That's it, good boy. And move on. Spit, go on. Good boy. And move on. Spit, then come on. <clears throat> Spit. Spit. Good boy. And move on. Go on, you can do it. Go on. I know it sounds rude, but you need to spit in this glass. Go on. Go on. Don't then. <clears throat> Snail gel. And it also got me wondering, all right, you know there's almond milk, yeah? Someone like sat there milking these almonds. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, I've got a project, I've got a project. I'm going to build, as you've probably seen in the what's the name, in the description, a baked pump, all right? Just been to B&Q, bought some very cheap pipe. That was so cheap. I could probably make about three out of that. Also, whilst I was there, I bought some buckets lot. 97 pence. For you guys in America, um, uh, what's it called? B&Q is like Harbour Freight, yeah? It's that sort of place. I wanted this to dry out because I'm going to use all this to melt lead in my burner. <clears throat> I just noticed something, look. What's going on here then? Why are you not out? It's like an ant invasion. Where are they all going? They're going down here somewhere. What are you doing, boys and girls? Anyway, right. Uh, look at this. Let me just... Um, I'm going to put the inner pipe in the outer pipe and I'll show you how quick a project this will be. For a bait pump, by the way, is where you basically find a lub worm. You put it down, you pull up... Oh, no, you, as you're pushing it down, you're pulling it up one way and you pull the whole thing out and then push it out and hopefully it'll spit a worm out with it. The idea of this, if you imagine a bicycle pump with the nozzle cut off, okay? And then you're, so you're pushing the, the you, you, as you're pushing the tube down, you're pulling the pump up or the, the piston up, all right? And then you're holding it where it is and pull the whole lot out. And then, so you've hopefully pulled out the whole worm and then you pump it out onto the ground. Let me put this together and I'll show you. Okay, as you can see, let me just move the hang on. Get out, you stupid fly. Right? right, as you can see, uh, that's a close tolerance, which is great because it, that means I don't need a flange at the other end. Um, all I've got to do now is block off that and make some sort of seal, like a, an O-ring, yeah? Job's a good one. And this is my handle. So I'm going to grab, I'm going to, uh, so you can imagine uh when you've pushed the whole thing down but you're pulling out with that yeah pull it out and go and push it out and there's also some o-rings in there which i'm going to use for the vacuum seal easy yeah I just did a, a google search um the main outer pipe wants to be about 90 millimeters in length so i'm going to measure 90 cut it and then the inner one wants to be about 10 centimeters longer so I'll do that and I'll show you. Okay, so hopefully you can see this. I can't see the screen, now I can. Right, so there's the pipe. Okay, the outer, let me just do this. Right, so the outer pipe, that's 90 mil. I've made this one, if I just put it in there, 10 centimeters, so that's one meter. Okay, so it's just, if I line that up there and keep it flush, the other end is 10 mil sticking out. Here's my handle. 
you can literally just push on that. I've got some glue. But there's the handle. So there's the handle, yeah? All I've literally got to do now is make that the piston and away we go. How cool is that? That is very quick and very simple. But what I'm going to do is, before I glue this to this, there's an O-ring in there that I want because the O-ring, I think, should make a perfect seal for the piston at that end, okay? And then also there's an O-ring in there and in here. Total cost is about 11 quid, 12 quid. Okay, <clears throat> I'll put a washer on that end. Yeah, and I'm going to put a washer on, on this end. Okay, and then I'm going to tie it I'll probably double nut that. Um, now, the beauty is, oh, let me just hang on. Let's adjust this camera. That's better. See what we're doing now. The beauty of this is when I put it in the middle of the inner pipe, yeah, that is a nice tight fit. So hopefully as I screw these in, these will expand. So I've got grip on the inner pipe and a piston. And I might, if all else fails, I don't think that's gonna work, but right, let's see if it works. Okay, what I've just worked out is I've got super glue all over my fingers. Uh, just put a dab of super glue on the nut to the washer, all right, and the washer will be get gripped by the rubber and then if we turn that round, let me move my vape. Oh, it's like a junk heap. So, yeah, it's turning and that is starting to expand. Right, get that in the pipe, turn it around, turn it, oh, I'm gonna get this off here. Does anyone know how to get super glue off fingers? I'm asking for a friend. I think baby oil does it. Oh, hey, that's not working. I'm just gonna try at this end so that it's cone to cone. Try that. When you look, they'll spring out. So bear with. I shall tell you whether that's going to work or not. I can't believe how much super glue I got on my finger. It's a right mess. Yes, it works. Watch, you ready, ready, ready? Boy. That is. What you got to do is just adjust things, but yeah, that's worked. That's worked a treat. So I've built a baked pump for next to nothing. I'm going to. Uh, it could just do with a bit of improvement on there, but um, and I've sucked my hand onto it and gone and pulled it. Oh, yeah, it is working. What I might try is going to the beach tonight uh, and local reservoir, local nature reserve, and just try it on some sandy water, on some sand, wet sand. So, right, it works. Get in. What I have to do now is just glue this onto here, and then that is it, job done. Hey, what I've done is I've used Gorilla Glue around there, cleaned off this PVC paint because it's just not going to do it. It's supposed to be quick, but it wasn't. So, oh, sorry, so I've roughed up the area and obviously with Gorilla Glue you just wet it. So I'll get try and get as much of that indoors, but inside, but that's it, that's going to be a permanent hold. So that's the end pipe. Sorry, that's, no, that is it. There's your handle. There's the piston. Um, and here's obviously the. I'm going to get, try and get a 90 degree angle on there, see what I can do. But in the meantime, I'm going to leave that outside because that's going to take an hour to, to um, set. But Gorilla Glue is amazing. Big thermals. Okay, here's a test I brought out here to the nature reserve where there's this great big sand pit. And some nice sandy water. I've just been uh, tweaking it, I don't know if you'll see that, and adjusting it, and it does work, and now I'm gonna show you it working. Okay, here we go. It is working. I need to tweak it a bit more, but it is working. I need to tweak it a lot. So it's really tight. Yeah, it is working. 
Okay. Yeah. Hey, before I carry on, or rather before I edit this video and end it, I'm going to make some more of these using the homemade lead that I made. Homemade leads. Uh, I'm probably going to film the process because you've seen it before and it'll slow me down and then that means this video will be late getting online. So uh, I might do a bit, I don't know. Okay, attempt number three. Success. All right, put some more lead in there. Okay, let's have a look. successful. The trick is to heat up the mould as well or get the lead really really hot. Okay here we go again. Done. <clears throat> right. Just quickly show you what I'm using now. That weed burner, yeah, that's doing really well. It's getting it all melted down much quicker than the other thing, so. Okay, pour number three. I've got to be really careful because I've burnt my fingers on it. It's rather hot, which is what you want. Done, ready, turn off the gas. And put it out of the way. Close that thing, make sure it's all ready to grip proper, which it is. Okay, here we go. Done. Let's go around this side this time. Break that open. Yeah, another perfect one. No wrong with that. Done. What I shall do is just try and get that off and chuck it back in the uh, in the pot. Done. Done. I'm hoping you can see these. Yeah, you can. And done. Right, we'll get them in the pot. We'll do. One more, I think. Okay, uh, number five. Oh, I keep dropping the wire. Keep popping the wire out of there. Come on, you go. Right, let's see if we can do this without failing. Because there are plenty of failures. Right? Mm. Okay, here we go. Yeah, this will be alright. Perfect. Right, I'm going to do five. I think we'll leave it at that. I'll break this one open in a minute and I'll show you. But that'll do for the night. I'll go and edit this video in a minute. Right, I'm just smelling what's left of the lead. Just making ingots to make it easier. So I'll split this open and Oh, if you could have seen how close that was to my my foot. And look at the safety shoes I'm wearing, of course. <laughs> 150 grams. Straight on the foot. Yeah, another perfect mould. Oh, let's get on camera pause so people can see. Complete with a bit of grass. Right, I'll chuck that in the pot. Right, I'm just going to make some ingots, then I'm going to edit this video. Oh, let's go this right. There we are, I managed to get um, 
One more done. Six. Nice. Oh, nearly out of battery as well, but I uh, end it here. So anyway, there's my little smelting uh, thing. Nice little pot down there. So, right. Uh, so the thingy, the baked pump was a success. It was fantastic. I've got to adjust it, make a better sucker for it. Uh, whatever you call it. Plunger, got to do that. Uh, but then it's working, it's excellent. So yeah, there will be a beach casting video on soon. Hopefully catching some fish. All right, right. Look forward to comments. Thanks for watching. Give us a thumbs up, which would be nice. You don't have to, but it would be nice. Um, don't lick frogs. Don't play with ants. Don't shove turtles down your top. Bye for now.